All right, we're back. We're back, kiddos. So how you doing, son? Oh, uh, not too shabby. Just girlfriend just got back. She basically she's a time she's a time traveler now. Um, she was in travel. Scotland, and they're ahead six hours. Sure. So she came back in time. Right. So yeah, so she's a tri- time traveler now. It's pretty cool. Dude, when you think about it, that's crazy though. Like, it's what, basically time, it's time travel. Yeah, yeah, technically, 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 it's time travel. <laughs> like, think about this though. I was thinking about, like the idea of even like us like figuring out faster ways to get places. I feel like that's even like time travel in a way. I I mean I guess I know what you're saying. I get the essence. Like, you know what I mean? Or like I get this thought, like especially when I'm really high. Like, what if we're, like, what if we're learning too fast? Yeah. Like, what if we're not even supposed to be using cars right now? What if we're supposed to be just using the horses right now? Like, this whole time. You know what I mean? It probably would be better. Right. You yeah. know? That's that's what's crazy if you think about, like, time and history or whatever. Like, the amount of time that we've had cars and we've had all this technology and shit is so really, short. really short in comparison right. to all the time where we didn't have that. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of crazy. Yeah, crazy. Well, yeah, even even the thought of like America is a young country. Like it is super very young. young. You don't realize. Like, think about like all these other countries where they have like ancient like ruins and shit like that. Yeah. The only ancient ruins we have is like, you know, Native American. Well, like, the Native Americans like didn't build this. shit. No, they didn't build anything. <laughs> they lived off the land. That's what's the yeah right. They're nomads. They they move right. around. They didn't build stuff. And they didn't have the alien people. They didn't have alien people help, helping them. That's so, true. They had hey, no. They built teepees. Teepees are kind of like pyramids, in a way. But it's like it's they almost as if the like aliens. Pyramids. The aliens but I think it's. To, it's like going. the aliens went to them first, and they were like, "Ah, we're not going to waste our time with these guys." And they're they like, just went "What the fuck?" Egypt. Okay. Well, here's what I do think, though. <clears throat> it's just. Like a triangle or a prism is the most structurally sound, um, like shape, right? Right, right. Because it's like you know the the way, just the angles and everything, it supports itself. Okay. Right. <clears throat> so really, it's just like the smartest way to do things. I don't, like. I think some people might be like, "Oh, what a coincidence that all these," you know. It's like, well. It's smart. Right. That's just the best thing that they could do. I mean, I mean, why the fuck aren't we building our houses like pyramids? True. I would. Fuck. It's true. Be cool. And then you have like when you die too, you get your own little tomb. Right. That'd be bad. <laughs> That'd be cool. Um, you get buried, get buried with all your guitars and your bongs, and <laughs> I. Uh... You get buried with Lou because they get buried with their pets. It's true. But, um, no, so, you know, I, 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 uh, just came up with this thought very recently within the, the, like the last couple of days. Um, so like, you know, this whole drag queen shit or whatever is going on. Mm -hmm. Uh, like, I don't really, I don't really give a shit about drag queens. I don't care about that. I do think it's kind of fucked up that they have like drag queens going to schools and fucking, you know reading books about drag queens to kids. I do think that's a little bit weird. Um, but at the but at the same time, I don't really care. But right. one thing that I thought of that was funny is it's funny how everybody gets pissed off about people doing blackface and stuff nowadays. And dra- like doing being a drag queen is just doing blackface as like as a woman. It's like the women's blackface. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <clears throat> And it's always, I guess I never thought of it like that. Yeah, I didn't either. And it's just that the, I don't have a problem with drag queens, like I said. But the thing is, is I feel like if I were a woman, I would be a little bit offended just because, like, a drag queen, their whole thing is like the most outrageous, like, character of a woman. It's not like they're dressing up like women, they're dressing up as this really crazy, like, looking character or like the way or just the way they act you know right and they look like they look like i feel like even sometimes when like the drag queen like dudes or whatever they look more like dudes just with wigs on 
Yeah. And makeup. They don't look like girls at all. They just look like... They don't really look like girls, but they also... I would say if, if, if I didn't know what drag was and I just looked at one of them, I'd be like, I guess they're a woman. I don't... I don't know. I would I would assume that they're like like a bad guy from like the Power Rangers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> that's like weird, <clears throat> like <laughs> No, well that's another thing. So uh did you see anything about this? Like Biden had these like trans people at the White House. And, oh, he, and, and they the were... chick or not the chick well, she is a chick, technically. That's what she prefers to be called like right. flashed her fucking tits on the white house lawn oh yeah and when i first saw it on the news i didn't hear any of the context before so i just saw the video and i was like nice and then i was like <laughs> and then i found out as i started watching they're like this is a trans woman or whatever i'm like okay but <laughs> this is this brings me back to what i said before is if the trans community would just show like trans chicks that look actually like women right maybe we wouldn't have as much of a problem (laughs) (laughs) you know what i mean actually tried like if they actually yeah if they actually tried and they actually maybe looked well that's the problem frankly if they looked kind of hot because that's what I thought at first. I was like, damn, that's like nice. Fuck yeah. And then I was like, oh, it's a dude. Am I gay? Maybe. <laughs> the girl. And then you, you're, you thought it was a girl. So I, I thought mean. it was a girl because it looked like a girl. Like, give it some effort, man. Look, make yourself look like a chick. Catch me in the right moment and maybe I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, no, just the fact that it's like, like, do like, you got to remember, guys are the ones doing this. So, of course, it's going to be shitty and they're not going to do it right because they're right. dudes. Yeah. They're dudes to begin with. So, it's like. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> but that some of them, some you know, of like them do a good foot. job. They right. do a good job of making themselves look like a fucking chick. You right. know, I feel like it's the drag queen people that ruin it. Because they don't, they, they ruin it, like, and also like the green hair, like monsters, like short haired, ugly chicks, they ruin oh. it too. The green hair girlfriends, yeah. And you know what sucks about that name? <clears throat> Here's what sucks about that name I made that name up because most people who have like green hair nowadays, they're like, uh, they're like crazy liberal, like neo right. people. But the thing is, a lot of girls with green hair are really hot. So it's like, if I were to get a <laughs> girlfriend and she had green hair, I'd be like, well, by the way, I have a podcast. She'd be like, oh, what's it called? Uh, it's called Not it's Your Green Haired Girlfriend hot. Podcast. Well, why is it called that? <laughs> um, well, you know. <laughs> there's, a stigma, there's a stigma that lies with girls with green hair and libtards. Uh, <laughs> you know, and well, and like chances are she probably is liberal, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, be like, uh, yeah, well, I, you know, I might say faggot a couple times, <laughs> but uh, I say faggot. A- I don't have any problem with gay people. A lot. I don't have any problem with gay people. I just say, I just think it's a fun word to say. It rolls off. Uh, the I tongue. love gay people, and I love saying faggot. All right, I love gays, and I. <laughs> no i it, it's just funny the thing about words like that like faggot or retard or whatever it's like now everybody's like oh you can't say that but it's you're changing the word in into something else mm-hmm. same thing with like when look like, back in the day mentally challenged people the medical term was mentally retarded right <laughs> so it's not it's not inherently a bad word, but what's the difference of like calling somebody dumb or stupid or whatever, and then calling them retarded? You know, it's the, it, same. I, it's the same fucking thing, basically. You know, I and you mm-hmm. never call. I mean, I don't. I don't want to say this necessarily, but most people they don't call a mentally challenged person retarded. Right. I do it on the podcast sometimes because it is funny, and you're not supposed to say it. <laughs> You know, but I would never right. say that to like somebody. I, yeah, I would never say that to a mentally challenged person. I I wouldn't even think to say that. Right. You know, 
yes, I'll say it with my friends or whatever, just because of the shock value. Because it's it's funny because you're not supposed to right. say it. Right. And uh, but like I grew see when I was young, you could say faggot. It was OK to do that. And you could say retard. So sorry if <laughs> I have a hard time. N word. No. <laughs> Well, growing up in an all-white town, yeah. there's a lot of kids who like to say the they they like to call each other the N word, but with yeah. a with a sure. with a soft A and not a hard R. Right. So they're 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 wangsters. They're wiggers. They're yeah, they're wiggers. That's what they are. And but it, but the funny thing is though is they drive trucks and work they drive trucks, they're... but there's no black people around to tell them not to say that, so they just do it. You know. <laughs> and uh no like that's i mean yeah I, I don't know i people uh people make big deal i i just think it's crazy like th- how shitty life is for just the average person and you're worried about what word somebody uses to like are you kidding me like life is life is tough and it's dark and it's dreary and whatever like you should you and it's not very long either in the grand scheme of things, your life right. is not very long. So you shouldn't be restricted to say anything. And I mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> and you all you all know what I mean by anything. Okay. Just take I'm... the second letter of the word anything and you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, that that's like people do need to have a more like realistic take on things where it's like yeah life is just bullshit and like there's a lot of shitty fucking people you have to deal with there's you know you have to fucking pay bills and you have to do this and you have to go to work every day what and you're gonna get mad over a little word right you can't own own words no but not only not only that it's just like why why are you like you really want to spend this precious time on earth that you have bitching and moaning about this sh- like a certain word that somebody says? I mean, fucking get a life, dude. If you were working every day, you would shut your fucking mouth. You yeah. know, especially <laughs> if you're working with the goddamn public and you see what America is. We're full of scumbags. Okay. Fucking white, black, Mexican, whatever, Asian, everybody's a piece of shit, okay? And there are a few very, very select few amount of people in this world who have any kind of fucking decency. Right. You know, it's most people are scumbag pieces of shit. And no matter how much you want to make an excuse, oh, oh, well, they're black. So they just inherently they commit crimes because of of racism or like slavery or whatever. It's like, fuck off. OK, that's the same argument of people being like, oh, well, the Nazis, they were just doing their job like they were just taking. Right. Orders. Right. All right. Every single person in this world has a choice to make whether they want to be good or bad. So when right. you make bad decisions and yes, I've made bad decisions. OK, Everybody come does. to a point in my life where I've understood that those things have consequences. And maybe if you don't get in trouble for it, you don't have consequences, but that's going to come back in your memory of like, I did this, you know, and I feel like shit because I did that at one point in my life. So really what it is, is being like, well, these people, you know, they, uh, you know, they were slaves, uh, fucking 200 years ago. So of course now like they're in poverty. And I think that has something to do with the poverty. Right. But just because you're poor does not mean in any way that you have to commit crimes. It doesn't mean that you have to be trashy. And I'm saying this about white people, too, like white trash. I hate white trash people. Just because you're poor does not mean that you have to commit crimes. And it doesn't mean you have to walk around in stewy pajama pants and a Mountain Dew T-shirt. All right, (laughs) You're in public. Dress up. Maybe wear some jeans. Jesus Christ. All right. Go to the bill. Buy a pair of fucking right. Wranglers. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying is you as a person eventually should know the difference between right and wrong. And it doesn't matter what the fuck happened a million years ago where you weren't even around. You know, I just don't like trashy people. You know, I don't like white trashy people. I don't uh, like yeah. and That's just that goes to say, yeah, like. 
black people who are trashy and they are shitty towards you or whatever. No, I don't like you. Why would I like you? Right. And the only people, no matter how poor they are, are just gems are Mexicans. Right. Those they don't. They are... ne- the Mexicans never ca- caused a problem, no matter how poor they are. They fi- They like to fix problems sometimes too. You yes, know, they, dude. They like to clean a lot. Well, they do. And but the other really thing good. is, really they don't cause at... problems because they work those shitty jobs. Right. All right? Yeah. They work shitty jobs and they understand what it's like to be a poor person. Okay, so when they come to your workplace, right, mm-hmm. and they're guests or whatever. They're not causing problems. They're being nice to you. They're t- they're walking by saying thank you for your work or whatever. I've had that happen a million times by Mexican people because right. they understand what it's like. And you have and I, I will say it, dude. <clears throat> the problem with the African American community and also white people is welfare, dude. When you live a life of getting shit for free, why right. would you why would you try? You have you you already like you have this entitlement thing in your head where you're like, oh, well, I should get it for free or I should whatever. Not to be racist, and I I obviously sound like a complete racist right now, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna say, at the zoo, or I am a fucking janitor. Okay, we have a parking lot. I have to pick up shit. All right, I have to pick up the litter, and I will tell you without a doubt, one hundred percent, black people litter the most. Right. And it's not like throwing something little on the ground. It's taking your entire meal that you got from Chick-fil-A and throwing it out the fucking window, like in broad daylight. Okay. In it so it's black people, poor black people, and poor white people. They litter like motherfuckers. Yeah. Right. But it's like as I said, you you can be a happy person not having a ton of money and you can be a uh, respectful person too. All right. Yeah. You like, have said, a little... you know, you don't have to wear stewy pajama pants to the fucking grocery store. All right. That, or to fucking school in the morning. Or to school. You look like a slob. I hate, I've always hated that. Like when like girls, and like, that is like... a white, that that's a white person thing. Wearing the fucking family guy pajama pants. Or Mountain well, Dew any, or something. It's like you got anything problem. about it. They got it from Spencer's or something like that too. Yeah, you know? right. They're walking in with the the fucking uh, their pride section that they have now, and all they that. got their dicks tucked back and their vaginas tucked out. <laughs> vaginas <laughs> tucked out. <laughs> Jesus. No, but I don't I know that that whole thing probably to not to you. I don't give a fuck, but I know that you don't give a shit. But (laughs) to anybody who's watching, that was not meant to be racist. I like the whole thing is what it comes down to is individuals. Right. You know, I don't care about races of people. There are a lot of black people that are very respectful and are just normal people, you know, and they act decent in public. And mm-hmm. there are a lot of white people that act decent in public and Mexicans or whatever. But there are also a lot of trashy white people, black people and Mexicans who just kind of don't have a lot of respect for anybody. And what it comes down to, is, for I don't like white trash people. And I don't like like or what I meant to say was I don't like trashy people. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I hate white trash people. I hate them so much. I hate their guts. <laughs> you know, it, not racist. I just don't like people who don't carry a little bit of respect with them. That's all I'm saying. White Ash reminds me of Kid Rock's character in Joe Dirt. I am Kid Rock. <laughs> Kid Rock Kid Rock's character in Joe Dirt. The, <laughs> dude in, the fucking guy with the trans am or whatever. Yes. Yeah. That guy just reminds me of just the word redneck or like just yeah you know, yeah like, totally totally rash. just kid rock in general well yeah but he's he's a, i feel like he's a respectful redneck i mean he's probably respectful respectful because he has money right you know but like because even like me you know i'm I didn't, i'm not going to college i'm not uh right. you know i'm probably gonna be poor for the rest of my life but in my mind it's like if i have a fucking apartment 
Right. A place you to know, live. I just can live and like make it by. And dude, right. I'm fine. I'm right. not going to be like resent. I mean, I will be resentful, but I'm not to the, to the point of like just being a total fucking slob. Okay. You know what I mean? Like I, you know, I, I don't ask for a whole lot. I don't want very much in life. Like there, well, basically I do actually, I either want <laughs> to make money living as a musician, which is very hard to do. Right. Especially nowadays. Or just fucking, you know, exist. Because in my mind, any job that I get is going to suck. Even if I'm making a bunch of money. But the other is like, I mean, maybe it would be nice having an excess of money. But I don't, I also don't want to ever big. I don't, I don't, sorry. I don't want to live in a big house. Right. And I also don't want to live in just a fancy house like i just like like i like my house you know there's carpet all over the place and it's not like hardwood floor and high ceilings and shit like i like it to just be i could live in a trailer and i'd be just as happy right yep you know and uh that's that's just the thing is like i don't know i mean black people do buy a lot of expensive clothing so they, they, they have more expensive tastes. Well, yeah. <laughs> <I feel like. laughs> they buy expensive alcohol. Even their alcohol. Even their alcohol. They drink Hennessy. Hen- what? I, I haven't like even bought Hennessy, and I have fucking $6,000 in my bank account. Dude, fucking Henny. It's, I love Henny, though. I'm sure it's great, but it's like, I'm not paying uh, for that shit. They keep it behind the counter for a reason. Yeah, it's like 50 bucks. Yeah. Fuck that, dude. I'll drink that shit in a night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like you and Henny mix. Because that's like a known thing where it's like people want to like fight each other or some shit. Just to... <laughs> no, I shouldn't do that. I can imagine uh, you just black out drunk just wanting to like fight me or Chase for no reason. <laughs> I don't think I could ever get drunk to the point where I'm trying to fight you guys. Because... Like, even just the fact that that one night I got blackout drunk and I literally stayed up with you till like five in the morning and didn't even <laughs> realize. Like, I didn't even know. Like, I don't know how I was that drunk and just powering on until five <laughs> in the morning. You know what I mean? Just like, I'm staying up. Like, oh, how either. I was like, <laughs> he's just going, man. <laughs> I would pay a million dollars to hear what the fuck I talked about. Dude, oh my god. Like you were like you were like acting like we were doing like this fucking mafia skit. Like, so that's saying, that's dude, clearly where it came house. from because the next dude, day the, the next morning we went out and got burgers because we thought it would help. Right. And the whole time I was talking in an Italian accent. <laughs> <clears throat> And the burgers did not help, by the way. Made me feel worse. Because then we went on a fucking walk afterwards. <laughs> like the worst thing that you could do. Oh, that, oh, that fat ass outside his house. I felt like I was going to throw up. I, I felt like uh, shit. Dude. I think I, uh, I might have talked about this. But I fucking... Got, I was hungover at work one time. And it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm at a job site. And I got Pedialyte at the gas station because I was hungover. That's a good choice. I took three sips, dude, and I puked it right up, dude. Yeah. I puked all the Pedialyte just like, like as soon as it like hit the bottom of my stomach. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Game over. And I chugged it too. So that's what probably fucked it all up. And it was all liquid and it was, it was like the cherry Pedialyte. So it was red. I would have got the blue if I were you. So it literally looked like I was puking up blood because it was like a thick color. Yeah, no, I've had times working where like, like recently and it will the past like week or so I've been feeling a little better, but uh, working in the morning, I'm like cleaning a bathroom or something. And I'm like, well, I got all this time by myself. Like if I have to throw up, I'm going to throw up because I'll feel nauseous like right away. Right. Like, I wake up still feeling, like, fucking a little bit drunk or something. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I just fucking feel terrible. 
and uh you know yeah sometimes when i'm at work i'm like fucking i'm like i'm about to throw up and then it just goes away but so i haven't thrown up yet but i guess time will tell uh i'm trying to chill dude i'm trying to fucking chill and it's hard so i think you gotta just start like switching to beer or something like that or like you're probably right but the what i've learned is i love the taste or not the taste but the burn of the whiskey when you drink it and sometimes when you drink it on a on on an empty stomach it kind of hurts for a second and then it'll go away and it's like i've it's just like a cigarette or weed like you take a right. huge hit of weed and you're like coughing and it kind of hurts and then it goes away and it feels nice that it that the pain is gone. Smoking yeah. a cigarette, it hits the back of your throat, it kind of hurts. But you learn to like that. So yeah. with drinking, I've learned to like the like burn of the whiskey or like when it makes my stomach feel a little bit weird for a couple minutes. Like so the problem is I'll some I'll have days where I'm like, where I just buy two of these or one of these. Okay, got it's got 12 percent alcohol, so it's got a lot. But uh, I fucking will drink them and I'm like, I need a fucking shot of whiskey like this is not this still isn't doing it for me. Like I it just like even if I'm drunk, I'm like, I want to feel that fucking, you know, you could get start getting like seltzers and then put like two shots of vodka in them. That's true. It still probably wouldn't help me. But right. the uh, I do than- like um them fucking better than drinking that goddamn whiskey every goddamn night uh. that's i don't well i don't drink it every okay that's wrong i do drink whiskey every <laughs> night but i don't necessarily drink it straight every night i have a couple cocktails and sometimes late at night i'll be like uh like i, I feel like i need a shot you know and i'll yeah. do it and the problem with weed is it just it's not cutting it okay the problem is nowadays I'll take a hit or two hits off a joint and I'll let it sit right. and I'm feeling it, but I'm not like, it's not enough to like stop the craving. Then if I smoke too much, like for example, I was hanging out with Chase yesterday and he had a, his dab pen or whatever. I hit it, you know, I was already kind of drinking and I hit it, got pretty high, but I wasn't feeling that bad. Went to his house and he has dabs and he got a new nectar collector. And so I took a dab and oh. I didn't really like I felt good at first, like really good. And then he's like, oh, do you want a margarita? And I just couldn't say no. I'm like, yeah, whatever, I guess. So I had part of a margarita in like halfway through. I'm like, I can't drink any more of this. Like, I need to sober up because I would just got so fucking hi dude and then because we were what what happened is he he was hanging out and i said well we need to go get your drums and bring them over here and so we went to his house and got his drums and as i was carrying them up the stairs in the heat i felt like i was gonna die like my heart was like racing so hard and i I just felt like shit dude i was like i could die (laughs) here but i'm just trying to keep my cool and like (laughs) I don't know if it's cause you're high and like you just feel weird in your chest or whatever, but it felt like it was just fucking going. And I know the problem is when I go to the doctors, my blood pressure is high as shit. Right. It's really high and my pulse is pretty high. But I also get freaked out at the doctors. Just anytime going to the doctors, I get a little bit nervous it's like the anticip it's the anticipation of it is when you're sitting in the fucking room and they're like you're waiting for them to call on you. So every single time that somebody comes out of the door, you're thinking that it's you. And like it's that and I just get nervous. I get nervous at the doctors. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> they're gonna make me pull my pants down i feel like they're gonna find something or i don't know it's like it's also just i don't like meeting new people and with doctors it's like i don't know you so i don't really don't want to hang out with you at all and i have to hang out with you for a little while right what if you got to answer or something it just yeah it makes me nervous but no my blood pressure is fucked and that means i'm at risk of a heart attack oh. or a stroke or some shit. It's dude, it's high as fuck. Like last time it was like 
140 over like a hundred something. And normally it's like, it's, I, it's been worse than that, but it used to be like 160 over like 80 or 70 or whatever. And now it's like 140 over 100 something. And so I don't even know what that shit means, but I'm like, this isn't good. Do some like do some every t- every single stuff. time you'll yeah. you'll get a summary of your appointment and it, it'll always say like blood pressure right. tests, whatever and it'll be like you need to get this checked out the risks could be this that or whatever and I'm like fuck that dude fuck God. but I just don't know if it's because I am at the doctor's and I'm already like stressing out and freaked out right but that I could do be. I definitely I kind of stopped realizing it when i was like just drinking and i wasn't smoking weed but sometimes i'll feel like my heart it almost feels like it skips a beat yeah like it's like a dum like, dum whoa dum. what the fuck was that like yeah. and uh it freaks me out dude i'm like i don't want to die <laughs> i want to live <laughs> <laughs> for a while i like i've i've like no like i know this is like a thing like people who have had heart attacks they like once that you've had a heart attack or something like that, you know when it's gonna happen again. Like you can like like, like usually change. people like yeah right yeah he'll, he'll they'll be like I'm I'm having a heart I'm about to have a heart attack right you know what I mean? no like, and that's why when that shit'll happen sometimes I'm like am I about to have a heart attack like I'm 22 I'm, years old I shouldn't am get I about it. to bust am I about to bust am I about to bust right now <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know that scene of uh billy madison at the end where it's like shows all the people like where like <laughs> yeah. billy madison kisses his like girlfriend or whatever and then yeah. it's like, chris farley and the penguin <laughs> and <laughs> he starts like doing that face where like it looks like <laughs> it looks like the oh. like the penguin suck his dick in him or whatever <laughs> and uh no dude that's hilarious but also i was watching that movie recently and i'm like man like sometimes adam sandler is so stupid in this movie where it's like not even funny and then i was like (laughs) how in the fuck is there's a love interest in this movie like there's a hot ass like so hot teacher who is trying to have sex with this retarded guy like bitch man that's the point it's no, you of, have to have it in those movies. You have to right. have it, you know. But it's like this makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> he's literally in your fourth grade class, retaking school because he's a fucking idiot. Well, but geez, not only that, he talks like remember? an idiot. He like yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like uh, how, I, there's no way that this woman would fall in love with him. And not only that, but she tried to bang him. After he graduated the fourth grade, not even like <laughs> while he was doing high school or whatever, it was like <laughs> it right after that, like he fucking graduated fourth grade. This bitch was trying to bang it, and she, it almost happened. She was trying to fuck an, an um, the mind. You of may a... as well be having sex with a mentally challenged person. He has the mental capacity of a fourth grader at this point. <laughs> you know. He hasn't gone on to fifth grade. He's got fourth like, grade. Yeah, into the uh, what do you when he's talking about that book? He goes, "That is the most stupidest oh, thing yeah. I ever heard." <laughs> <laughs> I just love the Chris Farley shit in that movie where he's like, somebody or, throws something at him while he's driving the bus, and he's like, "I'll turn this goddamn bus around." He's like, "That'll end your precious little field trip, pretty damn." Wait. <laughs> <laughs> throws the banana peel out and kills the old yeah girl. yeah what's that one movie uh it's got uh steve uh i i, I can't say his fucking last Buscemi? name yeah uh but he's like supposed to be the psycho or whatever con air and like yeah con air con air con air and so I guess there's this whole thing where that char- his character from Con Air is the same character in Billy Madison when he snipes, kills people. Okay, well, that's just... See, the thing about it is this. No, 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 and Big Lebowski, because there's part in... When he's wearing his bowling shirts and Big Lebowski, they all have names on them with different names. 
Well, that's the problem. Here's the thing with that. And I was I was thinking about that too. And it is fun to entertain those kind right. of things. Yeah. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. I saw something today where, you know, it talks about the Pixar movies and stuff where it's like, oh, in this movie, it's got oh, like whatever, right. like this same toy from whatever movie. And uh, they were talking about like Toy Story. OK, and I'm I'm somebody who I would watch this shit before and I'd be like, whoa, that's fucking crazy. But I j- it just occurred to me today where I was like, <clears throat> so what it said was Andy was wearing the hat that Jesse would wear right not uh not um woody woody but jesse the girl right and then it was like oh well and you can also see jesse in like so-and-so's room in monsters incorporated right and i'm like well the problem with those with that is in the toy story they make it um very obvious that that's not one singular toy. That's a big line of toys. Like it has like that, you know, like when you go into the store and there was the buzz, like the buzz light, your action, like all figures, the buzz light. there's a million of them. Right. right. So all those buzz light, your guys technically would be able to come alive. Why is it just this right. guy? Why does it happen to just be Andy right. who has these toys that come alive? And so you have all these different uh theories different models right of like different toys or whatever like they're all different you know whatever or like but the thing about an actor is when they play in a movie it's like you can sometimes go oh well like this connects to this and that or whatever but it's like no like they're uh you know they are like like a toy that you manufacture is there's all these different ones and right stuff, yeah you know but i'm realizing now as i'm saying that and making that out like that uh that connection that it sounds a little bit stupid and there's holes in it but <laughs> <laughs> basically what i did want to bring up was that people who talk about toy story it's like anybody could have this fucking toy because there were a right. million of them sold right yeah you know what are they saying that's connected you know what i mean like just the fact that those toys like yeah the, like like the toys are in the same generation like they're in the same world as every pixar every movie. pixar movie exactly yeah. it's and like the- quentin tarantino shit it's where it's like every it, it's all one world you know right um but there's this one part i think it's toy story 3 like when they're when he's getting rid of all of his toys or whatever and then they end up going to the daycare or whatever the fuck. Yeah. The trash man, one of the trash guys is Sid from the first one. Yeah, but that makes sense. Well, yeah. And he's wearing, yeah. he's wearing, he's got his skull shirt and everything. So, Badass. Hell yeah. Sid was a cool guy. Sid he was, actually was. He was just Sid, very creative. Well, I feel like Andy was the little, little pussy, bitch. Little pussy boy. Yeah. Without and just Everyone made Sid look like the bad guy. He was just, he was a scientist. Yeah. He was a mad scientist, just making inventions in his right. little shop. And they didn't like him when he probably, I'm I'm literally taking all the jokes I'm about to say from a Come Town podcast. <laughs> uh, they were, they were making fun of this where they were talking about like, he was like some like kid who was like getting molested. And he, so he's like, all fucking <laughs> whatever but uh no like <clears throat> that uh i liked the first one i liked the second one or i didn't like the second one as much but the third one was okay i was a little bit older when the third one came out but i still ended up seeing it but i was like you know it's all right the first one though is badass for sure first one came out like in like 90 99 or something like that yeah. i think yeah it was dope now, also, oh. I gotta say something, and it's okay. It's okay. I'm about to say this, but uh, even Marco, if you're watching, um, it's okay. You just need to hear this. Chance. It seems like when we talk to my to Marco, he kind of uh gangs up on you. Oh yeah, I've and already it, i've I've known this forever. You gotta like- you gotta come back at him, dude. You gotta come I, back I, at him because. I, I, 
I did a little bit. And um, you did a little bit, but I'm saying like don't don't even for a minute fucking stand that shit because I think what it was is that when we used to hang out when we were younger, you were the yeah. youngest guy, so you ended up being like picked on a little bit. I was well and I was bitch at a skate park. Well, oh. right. But it was just because it was like a hazing thing, you know, like you, you just ended up like in every single friend group, there's usually the guy who, but I don't play that shit anymore. Okay. (laughs) Okay. I don't play that shit anymore and I haven't for a while. So when I, when, when he's, you know, doing that, you gotta, you gotta come back full force. (laughs) Right. You gotta stop it. Because even at points I was like, I got, I'm, I'm about to step in. (laughs) <laughs> but it's like no you 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 got to do it all right you just got to go back as hard as you can uh, and i mean as hard as you can <laughs> that's where i feel like it might be a little <laughs> <clears throat> uh, no but i i figure that you kind of noticed that but when i no. well, yeah it's like and we do have a friendship where we like me and you you know we can kind of like say shit to each other where it sounds a little bit like confrontational yeah it like, sounds like we're fighting but we're not actually fighting it's just that's how we grew up where you call people a bitch and you know say fuck you or whatever but it's all meant as a joke you know it's not like serious right um I think too, it only happens when we're all three together and we're all and that's the thing it's like, only when it's actually, all three like, of like, when i started playing with <clears> him, <throat> us like it was like you know and that's a, it's it's that group dynamic right <laughs> where somebody has to be the butt of the joke but i don't i don't you know i don't do that shit anymore i mean i, I made some jokes because his character you know his character well that's like... fine yeah yeah <laughs> no it's different because sometimes we'll make stupid jokes to each other or whatever but i just felt i just was reminded a little bit of the old days you know, it was like <laughs> You know, come on, Chance is a grown fucking man now. I mean, you can't, can't do this. It's the same thing with, like, my brother's old friends. Like, as I grew right. up, we started to actually become friends. But when we were younger, they were dickheads, and I hated them. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, I mean, Chance, out of you out of all of us, you have your shit together more than any of us. I don't, I mean, in a way. No, you do. You definitely do. Dude, not with money. I'm horrible. It doesn't matter about money. It's that you have a girlfriend, you have a job, you, and yes, maybe you drink or you smoke or whatever. It, you, but you still go to work every day and you, you know, and not only that, but you work a more, a more accept, like socially accepted job, like a real, you know, respectful job. I work two jobs. And I'm a janitor, and most people, they should respect it, but they don't respect it as much. Hey, but I either way, it. you're, you're blue collar to the core, baby. <laughs> now that you have two jobs. Hey, and technically, sometimes I got three. Sometimes three. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a working man. So, I got the money table. Someone's overall, got it. You're beating us. Hey, I'm not saying know. that to make you feel bad. I'm I'm giving you a compliment, son. No, I don't. No, I know. <laughs> I, was just, I was over here getting an ego boost over here, just being like, hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but dude, you know what? Like, I'm horrible with money. Like, I've, I've, I don't think I've had a thousand dollars in my account saved for like longer than maybe a week. It makes sense, though. You have to pay for other shit. Yeah, too. but you have to like I, you have I, monthly shit that you have to pay for. But I also, you know, the addictions. Like if I didn't have those, well, and that's what I was gonna say. But it, day. but that's not as big of a deal. You're a young guy. You should be able to fucking smoke weed and drink alcohol or do whatever sure. the fuck you want. You know, because you're young, and as long and as it doesn't, as as long as it doesn't get out of hand, then it's like, you know, you should be able to do what you want. Um. But no, I mean, even yeah, like Marco and I are fucking 22 years old and uh, or Marco might be actually 24 or 23 now. But uh, either way, it's like, yeah, you totally are way better off than we are right now. You know, even well, just like with the sense of like 
if you were to, let's say you quit your jobs right now and you were going to look for another job that was like kind of blue collar, right. made you feel good about what you were doing, you could get it. Right. You know, we probably couldn't. <clears throat> but we could. I'm a it's janitor. Live. Oh. In janitor, I will say this. I've looked it up. Being a janitor is the, basically, it is blue collar, but it just barely, barely slides in there. So it's like the <laughs> lowest rank of blue collar <laughs> jobs. <clears throat> but it's still blue collar. <laughs> Nonetheless. Even like insulation sometimes, like it feels like it's not blue collar because it's like that's the la- like it's like one of the last things you do at a house, right? Like the drywall and then paint. Yeah, but like, but nobody yeah. else knows any better. Yeah. Normal people don't know any better, you know. So they're not yeah. they're not, they're not going to be the ones to give you shit. It'll be the other construction guys who are fucking. I wear Carhartt and Wrangler jeans. Right. Someone's got to. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Someone's got to do it around here. I think it's funny. It's like, I'm like the only one in the family who's like up early as shit going to work. Yeah. I wake I up mean, at 5.30. What time do you wake up? <laughs> oh, fuck. I try to wake up at, well, technically I wake up. Well, dude. I'm supposed to be at the shop at 6. But I set an alarm at 4.30, and then I have alarms going out till <laughs> uh, fuck, till 5.30 from there, Bless like, you. going off for a full hour. Okay. Because I can't, I can't fucking wake up in the morning, dude. I'm not a morning person at all. Lately, I haven't been. I used to be really good about it. And now it's like, my alarm will ring. I What I do is I set it to 5.20 so that I have 10 minutes to click the snooze and be like, you know, get yourself together before the next alarm goes off. But lately I've been kind of pressing it a few too many times. And my problem is I would love to sleep in more, but my ass is fucked. (laughs) (laughs) So I have to shit for an hour and a half before I go to work or else I'm going to have a terrible day. And I don't shit in public bathrooms because it's scary and I don't like it. Very scary. And I don't like, like the other day, uh, I was s- taking a poop in the pub bathroom. Nice, because I just had to go fast. I had to go fast, and I was right. like, "Fuck!" I get it. You got a rocket power that. As soon as I, as soon as I sat <laughs> down, it was loud, and it was, it was it got loud. loud. It got it louder. A, it was a perfect. You it know? got loud. It got louder. Well, the problem is, <laughs> is when you try to make it not loud. It gets yeah. loud. It makes loud because you're you're tensing up. Right. You're in you're 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 pushing it <laughs> together and making that <laughs> um. No, I that's like I hate uh, it. I can use a public bathroom, but nobody can be around. Yeah. I gotta be by myself. If somebody's as soon as I hear that door open, I'm, I'm like clinching. You ruined it. You fucking <laughs> ruined it. <laughs> oh, no, but yeah, like I feel like I gotta start waking up in the morning and just take a shit. That's what I do. I that's the first thing I fucking do, other than take my Prilosec, my heartburn medication. <laughs> Dude, fucking, I don't know. Either that or I just gotta start waking up early. Maybe even get some breakfast, especially because I'm like. Well, that's I have to get breakfast or I'm gonna have a terrible problem. What time is it? All right, Sonny. We we probably been going for an hour. We can cut it off. All right. All right. Uh, gonna go smoke a joint with my lady. All right, you smoke that joint. Yes, sir. You have a good one. All right, you too, son. Talk to you later. All right, peace out, yo. Peace, y'all. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. <laughs>